Have you ever tripped over your own feet? Like, tripped over your own feet. Give an example. I do it all the time. Or at least, I used to do it all the time. Hi friends, this is Shade, the cultural activist. Back with another word to share with you. Happy Sunday. Um, please excuse my sweaty mess or well it's not really a sweaty mess i just kind of stink a little bit i just came from the gym but i really had to get this word out before i took a shower so it is what it is i have this habit where okay i just finished the workout i'm getting ready to leave the gym going to the locker room to get my stuff and you know i'm walking to the locker room and i'm you know I'm feeling real good i just killed this workout i got my chest popped out i'm strutting myself walking to the locker room and then all of a sudden God steps in, at least I'm calling it God. God steps in and I trip over my own feet. Not anyone else's feet, but my own feet. Has that ever happened to you before? Where you trip over your own feet? So even if you wanted to put it in the perspective of, you know, you are an expert in business or you are very skillful in this or that, have you ever come to that place where even though you're an expert, you made a mistake, you know, you tripped up, you were relying so much on your own self, your own power that somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the midst of things, you know, you kind of fell off or, you know, you, you, you just slipped up, you slipped up. It happens, right? We're human. I go to thinking about all those times where I've tripped over my own feet, whether it's in business or in the gym, which like I said, I do all the time. So lately I've had this thing where, you know, I'm just more mindful of my walk. And that's with everything, not just at the gym. I'm more mindful in how I move. I'm more mindful in how I speak and how I conduct myself. Why? Because I don't want to keep tripping. I don't want to keep having to make the mistake of feeling myself too much because it happens it's so easy to start feeling yourself the spirit of pride comes in arrogance comes in because you know you're now at that place where you're elevating all that effort and work that you've been putting in is starting to form so now you kind of you know you're doing a little bit too much it happens it happens it's so natural for us to get to that place where we start to feel ourselves so thinking about this well, the, one of the last times that I tripped over my own feet, I thought about it like, okay, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep tripping over my own feet? And it took me to this scripture that I had been studying in Psalms, Psalms 37 verses 23 and 24, where it says that God delights in those who lean on his instructions. So much so that when we do fall, he makes it so we don't fall too hard on our faces, basically. And as humans, it happens, right? We, we are going to fall. We are going to trip sometimes. But those who lean on God's instructions, we don't really receive too much of the shame and the disgrace. At least that's what the Bible says. Oftentimes, God has to come back in and remind us, chill, boo. It wasn't you. It wasn't by your power. It wasn't by your might, but by my spirit says the Lord. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of come on here real quick and remind y'all to stay humble, keep it calm. The minute you start feeling yourself is the minute you will start tripping. Trust me, you will start bugging out arrogance, pride, all those things will become the thing. And then God will have to really humble you by embarrassing you. Um, I read another scripture in Psalms where it talked about how when God is rebuking us, when he is disciplining us for sin, for arrogance and pride, which all those things are sin, FYI, generally speaking, he will ruin the thing that we treasure the most. And that's not really the same thing with what I'm talking about right now. However, that can easily be embarrassment. He can embarrass us. Why? Because we will feeling ourselves we were way too arrogant with our success we were way too boastful with 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 the victory with the blessing you know what I'm saying taking all the credit and the glory when I did a thing you know oh it's all me it's all me don't start tripping folks because you don't want God to humble you in a certain way because automatically when I trip I realize like oh Shade you were bugging or well, not automatically most times lately I've been more mindful like I said and for the most part, you know, after I, I trip, I look around and ain't nobody there. But I knew what happened, and that's enough. <laughs>
that's enough but anyway that's all i wanted to share i don't really want to hold y'all up you have the whole day ahead of you with that said don't start tripping stay humble get fortified stay fortified and also please i would appreciate it for you to share subscribe thumbs up thumbs down whatever is clever let me know how you feel guys um until next time that's all have a good day y'all